Hi everyone, it's Dasha Dave here, and I'm back for another crafty video um, today. So, this time I'm going to do another one of my envelopes. Okay, so in the last one we made this one. Okay, and so this time round we're going to make this one. Okay, which is a hexagonal one. Great for if you're making a bee journal. Also great for you making um, an English paper piecing or patchwork, as I would know it. Um, uh, you're making a journal, you know because they all fit together nicely. Whatever you want to make it for, it's a really lovely, creative, innovative way to fold a piece of paper, okay? So, let's pack these away. So, just like um, any of my videos, unless I tell you otherwise, you'll be using an, uh, a rectangle sheet of paper. Now, I'm using a an A4 sheet of paper, okay? If you want to use a um, uh, standard letter, which is what the US use, a4 is a standard measurement in the UK. Okay, so um, all this is is a piece of my my one of my digital papers that I've coffee dyed. Okay, so remember we're making this one. Okay, so what you're going to do with this time is you're going to start with it face down. Okay, because you want the pattern to be on the outside. Well, you know you might want the pattern to be on the inside. I don't know. I'm not going to judge. Um, <laughs> I'll let you decide whether you want it on the inside or the outside. But if you want it on the outside, you need to have it face down. Okay, so, and then what you want to do is you want to have it portrait. So this is portrait style. You don't want it landscape, you want it portrait. Okay, so portrait means that you're gonna have the two longest sides um, on either side of you. Okay, the shorter ones are at the top and the bottom. Okay, so now we've established what a portrait is. Well, you know, a portrait is a completely other thing. You know, you want the portrait of me, then I don't know why you'd want a portrait of me. Anyway, let's move on before, <laughs> before we go down that lane. So, what we're going to do is we're going to fold over, we're going to fold it over, it doesn't matter, left to right, right to left, as long as we're keeping the ratios the same of being the longest sides left and right, okay? So you're going to fold it over and then you're just going to open it back out again. Now what you've got is you've got a centre line there and you're going to fold one of the sides over, it doesn't matter which one you fold over because you'll be doing both of them, okay? So you're going to fold one side over and you're going to put a score line in there. So you can put that nicely scored. You don't need the centre one scored properly because it's only there as a guide for where the middle is for you to be able to do this bit. So we're just going to line these bits up. Okay, you want them to meet, you don't want them to overlap. Okay, so you're going to put that line in and then you're going to score that as well. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is you're going to pinch it. Now if you're left-handed, you're going to do it this way, but it doesn't matter. As long as you do it you keep doing it the same way whether you're left-handed or you're right-handed so you do so i'm going to do the the right-hand corner because i am right-handed if you are left-handed you're going to do the left-hand corner okay so you're going to pinch it with your nail to form a nice point on that corner okay so you just get that point nice first and then you're going to fold it up so this corner so this corner that's come from the left it's going to meet up in the middle there so where that little, where those two pieces of paper join, they're gonna that's gonna meet nicely there. That's gonna form a point there. You just want to pull it nice and taut now, so you get a nice corner on it. Yeah, you pull it taut and then you get you put that line in. Okay, so you're just gonna fold score that line in. Okay, now what you're gonna do is you're just going to unfold it. Okay, so you can see that this line that's that line that we've just folded. Okay, fold this one back over. Yeah, and now that's going to fold in like that. So where it was folded over the top, what all you're doing is you're opening this side up and you're going to fold that line in. So it still meets on that line, okay? And so you can see the pattern down the left-hand side like this way. Obviously, if it's if you're doing left-handed, you'd be seeing it, the, the mirror image of what I have, okay? Then what you need to do is you see this line that we have here that we've got created was the middle line and now because of the way we folded it it's come up here so this line is where you're going to fold this bit so this is going to fold up okay so this is going to fold up you're going to create a point here and that other the other edge of it is going to meet in the middle there and then you're just going to put a line in across there yeah so you've got you've got um that was your your, your side that was the size you folded in 
you open it out so you could fold this bit in and meet that corner you're going to fold this bit up yeah and now what you're going to do is you're going to fold this bit over okay so this doesn't have didn't have this bit didn't have a line on it but now that we're folding it over it will do but you're just rejoining those two center lines there okay and again putting nice score lines in now just helps it all to keep nice and folded okay so once we've done that now we've got we've got this bit that tucks under here this bit that tucks under here and this bit that tucks under here so now what we need to do is you see this line here we're going to fold it over so that this edge meets this edge okay now you're not going to leave it there so don't panic start thinking oh no that doesn't look right because i don't have a hexagon now you're just going to do it so that you create a line so you create a line for you to be as a guideline so you don't need to score it fully you're just using it as a guideline you see you've created this line here now okay and what you're going to do is you're going to take this edge and you're going to bring it down to sit on this line now okay and you're going to pinch that corner in nicely yeah just like that put, put that put these two bits up together here and then you're going to put that line in as a score line yeah <clears throat> then what we're going to do is we're going to see where where this line is here which was our original center line we're now going to fold it back on itself and it's going to fold in like this okay and it's going to meet in the middle just like all the others have and we're going to put that line in to form a nice fold as well okay so they all meet in the middle okay now what you've got you've got this long bit here and you're thinking well what am i going to do with that do i cut it off no you don't okay keep hold of it don't cut it off otherwise it'll all literally fall apart okay what you're going to do now is you're going to pinch it on that corner and and butt it up against yourself and then you're going to pinch it on this corner as well and then you're just going to pull it down and then this edge will meet up with this edge trying not to get my fingers in the way which i know is very hard because i've got like these massive sausage fingers so and i'm going to put that score line in okay now you've got this bit that just looks a bit awkward and you think well that dave doesn't look like that no that's because all we need to do now is it just gets a little bit complicated turn it round so you can get purchase on it and what you're going to do is you're going to lift this flap up so if you lift this up you'll see this flap here you're going to lift this flap up and you're going to shove all up shove no sorry not that flap this flap here <laughs> see even i get it wrong you're going to lift this it does get awkward you're going to lift this flap up and shove all of this in there so i'm going to have to kind of manhandle it Gonna shove all that shove <laughs> obviously don't shove it like place it nicely like i should be doing you're gonna put it all in there yeah and you're gonna score all of those lines nicely now okay and there you go and that's another one. Oh, look the the rose is just the bob on them in the middle i don't think i could do that again if i tried but there you go that's that's the same okay so what we need to do is we now need to do it with a piece of blue paper it's really i mean i, I know it's a it's uh it should be yellow for a, a b shouldn't it okay let's do it again so that you can see what you're doing okay so fold it over in half i don't need to i don't need to put a line in I'm, I'm putting lines in in fact actually i wonder if that's going to be easier for you if i actually put score lines in and you can see it or indeed if i put maybe if i ink it for you what i might do is i might unfold it and ink all the lines and you can see what i'm what i'm doing in a, in a minute okay so what i'm going to do is fold it over like that i'm going to fold it into the middle again remember all you're doing is you're using that sc initial score line to be the line on which you fold into so put that in and that's the one the edge that you can score and then you fold this one in and this is the edge that you're going to score okay 
Then what you're going to do is you're going to pinch this corner and you're going to fold this up and you're going to pull it taut until this this point meets this middle join line. Okay. Put your finger on there and put a line in and then score it properly in with your bone folder. Then you're going to fold it out. Yeah. You're going to fold this bit out and then you're going to fold that back bit bit back in. Then you're going to use this line that you've got here to fold up. Okay, this all now folds up there and that meets in the middle there. So that, that point meets there. And you put a score line in and score it. Then you're going to fold this line back over and put a score line in. Then you're going to fold this, the whole of this edge down to meet this edge here. And then put in a score line in there. And then you're going to fold this line back over on itself. And put a score line in there. Yeah, and then you're going to fold this all the way over to create that line again. So you're making that, creating that final line. And you're going to put a score line in there. And then you're going to pull it all out, okay, and you're going to pull it back and you're going to, this is the complicated bit where you're going to have to tuck it all into that bit there. And you push it down, wiggle the lines a bit, and then and just rescore all of those. There you go. Okay, so that's your... That's all of them, right? Okay, let me just open it back out again so that we can score the, so we can ink these lines and you can see them better. Okay, so don't try and fold it with all of these these lines on. I would suggest that you do it the way that I've just shown you, okay? But I'm just gonna ink some lines so you can see where all of these lines are. So is this going well or is this not going well? I don't think that's gonna help in any way shape or form is it James? well you know let's do it oh, started anyway started so we'll finish all of the lines let's do all of the lines Dave Okay, so so remember, you fold, you started off with a blank piece of paper with no score lines in it. You folded it over in half, and that's what created this line here. Then you folded this bit in and this bit in, which created these two lines that you see here. Yeah, and then we folded this, pinching the corner, folding it up till this corner met the middle. Okay. So that's what we had. Yep. Then what we did was we opened it back out again and we opened the right hand side out, folded the left hand corner up. Yep. Then we folded the right hand corner up on this line here, this ink line here, and folded that up there. Yep. Then we continued this line and folded that over. Yep. And then what we what we wanted to do was we on, wanted to create a line here. So this is this is the line that we created. I'll show you that we created that line yeah by first initially folding this over so that we could find our center line there then we folded this bit over to line up with that yeah and that's what created that line there yeah then we folded this bit over let's get make sure that you ink that line so you can see the line Then we created this line yeah, by folding this bit over. Okay. Then we created this line here. This line here by folding this bit over. Okay. Then, if you notice, all of the lines now that we've created are all on the inside. So if you 
did ink them it wouldn't you wouldn't be able to see them okay and what we wanted to do what we want to do is we don't took it in this bit we took it in this bit so it's the complicated one where it folds back on itself took it all in all into there and then that's all of the lines nice and neat now right particularly fond of these they they break up so sorry Tim um <laughs> so here we go so that's what we had initially that was our demo piece that was the one we folded and that's the one I've just folded you twice so you could see now if you really still stuck slow the video down stop it keep pressing play you know it might be better on mute without me talking who knows anyway but that's another one that we've made for today so that's a one for um, uh, you know anything you want to do that makes it a little bit different you want to put a, a hexagonal piece of paper well it's not a hexagonal piece of paper a hexagonal um, folded letter in and it folds out into a nice big A4 sheet of paper or, or letter fold so anyway there you go that's another one so it's another one for our series so we've created um, a few now so um and we'll see you again next time for another one. So remember, please like and subscribe. Um, my name is Dash of Dave, and you can you know, catch me again on another video. I'm always live on a Sunday at 3 o'clock, unless I say otherwise. All right, folks, you have a great evening, morning, or whatever time it is with you. My name's Dash of Dave. I love you all, without exception, until you give me a reason not to. So don't give me a reason not to. And I'll see you all again in the next video. Don't forget to like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And you can contact me on any of these methods. And support my channel by buying me a coffee, going on Kofi, or indeed buying one of my Etsy products. All right then, folks. I'll take care. Um, and I'm off now. I'm going to go and get some sleep. So I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.